Hello everyone, welcome back to the Scuff Radio channel. So the last video I did on this here Kenwood was uh, the video where I showed how to hook up a tone encoder, a third party tone encoder to the radio and get tones going uh, if you didn't have the original board. But it's been some time now and I have received the official board here. Uh, it's from a company called uh, P-E or P-I-E-X-X. -X. I'm not sure how you would pronounce that, uh, but we're going to install this here board and see how it goes. Alright, so here we have the Remake Tone Board from P-I-E-X-X -X Company. <laughs> and it's supposed to be a drop-in replacement for the original. This is the only time I've ever, ever really encountered a radio that could be retrofitted with a modern remake of the board. So here it is, it's supposed to just drop right in. So uh, let's take the lid off here, off the uh, Kenwood. Being careful of the speaker connector. Uh, just set it down like that. So as you can see, there's my mods from previous times, and I just had this running to a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So we can just go ahead and uh, remove that now. And we should be okay. There we go, it came right out. Go ahead and pull this out. And then there's a screw here. Uh, I guess I'm going to need a uh, screwdriver to undo that. And let's just do that. So yeah, this is pretty neat. Uh, I've, there's a few radios they have in their catalog where you can retrofit uh, serial interfaces for rig control and uh, frequency control, stuff like that, and tone encoders. And uh, luckily this radio happened to be it. I wish they would do more radios because I would buy more. This was pretty expensive for what it is. It's just a tone encoder. But uh, it was... About, uh, I think, $80 when all is said and done with shipping. Now, this is not just your ordinary tone encoder. Also, you can control it digitally from the radio's uh, control panel. So it is a little more advanced than, you know, just a simple dip switch or, uh, or a pot tunable uh, panel. But as you can see, it dropped right in there. And let's just screw it back down. It looks like that screw is actually a ground of some sort. Although it does have a ground of its own on, on uh, pin number one, I believe, is ground. And I'm not certain that this will actually screw in all the way, will it? I, I feel like it had a lot more leftover threads. But it looks like it is screwing in all the way. Okay, well, there you go. That's tight. So there you have it. There's the aftermarket board sitting in the radio. Everything just slid right on. It looks like it's in there pretty solid. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, put the cover back on here and uh, try it out on my repeater. We actually have somebody trying to like play digital noises over the repeater right now. I don't know what the deal is, but let's get this uh, set back up and um, on the air. All right, here we are on the Kenwood. We've put it back together and uh, I've had a minute to mess with it and confirm it's working. So here's how it goes. Uh, the tone button right here turns tone on and off. As you can see, there's a little T symbol that comes on and off, so when it's illuminated, you have the tone. Then there's a select button here. This lets you select the tone, so you just turn the knob to select your tone. This repeater is 82.5, and if I just transmit, you can see it works. Uh, we'll go ahead and click over to another repeater here. This has a tone of 1, 2, 3 hertz. So we're going to say select, uh, one, two, three, select. Um, did I get the wrong tone? Actually, it's not one, two, three, it's one, three, six point five. There we go. Okay. So there you go. You can definitely see that it works. If it's not set to the right tone, it doesn't work. But uh, it's working now real good. So there's not much to that. It's just a basic tone encoder with a uh, serial control or some level of control so the radio can interface with it. Um, a lot of these old radios had a, either a tuning pot or a dip switch um, array for you to set the tone. This is really nice. It's all built in. It seems to be working really good. So definitely recommend it. I'm glad they're still uh, making these. P-I-E-X-X -X or Peaks or P or how, I don't know if the X's are silent or what, but that's where I got it from. Hope this video was uh, helpful to somebody, and um, thank you for watching. Bye, bye, bye.